This is Captain Gola, Reclamation Service Outpost 701. It's good to see you, my lord. My team's still searching for the Zerka base, but we've hit a snag that, frankly, we can't handle ourselves. Bring me up to speed. After you left for the Jawas, Lord Silva had a vision. Something about the natives, the sand people. He flew a speeder into the Dune Sea, but we lost the tracking signal in an energy storm. Silva was summoning lightning. Why would Silva go out there alone? Lord Silva was following a dream. The same way he found the lost temple of Zeost and the crystal caves of Molivar. He told me the sand people and their spirit guides were the key. He was looking for some sort of compass. The natives, what are they? What could they do to Silthar? I don't know. They're savages. Still, I wouldn't think they could kill him alone. Find the spirit guides and find him. When you have answers, come to our forward outpost. Otherwise, I don't know how this mission can succeed. Lord Silfar? Did Captain Gola send you? Such a good man. Eh, a pity he didn't send young Hale, but the honor is yours. <coughs> you will hear my last words. Tell me what happened to you. The Force called me into the desert. I sensed what Circa found. An alien power. I saw a white room. I thought the Sand People would know the land's secrets. I murdered them, stole their thoughts to find this cave. I knew victory before they destroyed me. I followed the Shaman's compass. But what is this place? It is a cave of secrets. My journey here was not for nothing. Zerka built its base over a site from the natives' myths. A forbidden land. The paintings in the cave show the way. Find them. Record them. Gola and his men, they... <sighs> Time to die. Goodbye, Silthar. So soon. So soon.
Hale, check on Keeler and the others. See if they figured out anything with the artifact. Sir, I'd like to hear what happened. Follow orders. I'll brief everyone later. I've sent for water and Colto, my lord. I'm sure the desert was agonizing, but we've been waiting for word. Any sign of Darth Siltar? He didn't make it. He fell to the sand people and their servants. Damn it. We all felt it, but we weren't sure. We're not blasted Sith. Without Siltar, we're just archaeologists with guns. Without him, this whole expedition falls apart. It isn't over yet. I know where to find the Zerka base. What are you talking about? Gola! Last hail, now's not the time. The artifact. The one the Jawas found. It's got Kayla. We disabled the dampeners, and there was a flash. What? Start containment procedures now. Sekien Ateste Vertini. Tell me about the imprisoned one. Kabies met yet ever first, Jan Tedogise. Killer? Everyone, stay back. Zachrus did yes, Tegesh Marwar. Engaging the enemy. Those creatures. They were my team. Sir, I think Perrin escaped. He was heading into the desert toward the tribal settlement. Blast. We'll mourn later. You remember the sons of Palawa. You hit them hard in Mas Ila, but their main village is just a few clicks out. If that creature reaches them, this could get very ugly. The sons of Palawa can handle themselves. Not if they don't know what they're facing. Basic rule of Xenoarchaeology. You don't unleash a foreign technology into a population center, especially one with a man-machine interface. Worst case, the technology that changed Perrin could replicate. Every person in the settlement could be transformed. At last, a challenge worthy of me. As you say, my lord. Reclamation Service protocol for contaminated sites mandates atomic heat cleansing of everything within a hundred meter radius. We've got a store of beradium explosives for that purpose. Enough to obliterate the Sun's cave village. But I hope it won't come to that. What choice do we have? If you're lucky, maybe you can take out Perrin before he reaches the settlement. Otherwise, plant the explosives, be careful with them, around the caves. One way or another, the contamination has to be eliminated.
You! I knew the Empire used dishonorable tactics, but the ghost of the desert, do you know what it does to people? Listen to me. The Empire isn't responsible for this attack. It's a coincidence, then? Within the first minute, that terror changed good villagers into murderous machines. There's a war going on in these caves. Now I'll give my brothers the chance to win by keeping you from interfering. You'll die, along with everyone else in this village. Ha! Ah, for Palawa, I'll fight until our blood becomes an oasis.
Are the power readings stable? Yes, sir. The stasis field's online. Keep it that way. I don't want the artifact powering up again. I heard the explosion. I take it the contamination site's been cleared? The Sons of Palawa Village is no more. It's a pity. Even tribals don't deserve to be obliterated because of some alien relic. Those artifacts Zerka found, they must be capable of infecting people, transforming them. I don't know why you'd build a device like that. But some species did, long before humans lived on Tatooine. And the Reclamation Service has the job of bringing those artifacts home. Are you with us? Where Darth Silfar failed, I will succeed. As you say, my lord. Without a Sith on the expedition, we'd be at a loss, I'm sure. What we've just experienced, the artifact powering on the takeover, I'm willing to bet Zerka went through the same thing. If we knew where to start looking for Zerka's base, we could scan for the artifact's power signal, track down the laboratory. Too bad Silpha didn't get more data. The base is in the Sand People's cursed land. These drawings should show the way. Yes. It's primitive, but it looks like a native map. We'll check its age. Calculate the geographical changes since its creation. I think we have it, sir. The native's forbidden zone is in Sector 22G. I can start outfitting a probe immediately. Once you're in position, use this signal device to call the droid. It'll launch from here. In the meantime, we've got friends to bury.